today's video, we're gonna head to Target, do a little shopping, and get a little haul, <laughs> and then head back here to my place, and I'm gonna show you how I styled it. One of the things that I'm focusing on when I go to Target today is I'm looking for kitchen items. Now we are gonna look at a few other decor pieces and that type of thing, but I wanna spruce up my kitchen just a bit and they always have some of my favorite things there. And so I'm gonna show you what I'm loving at Target right now, what would look great here in the kitchen, and maybe give you a few ideas of what you could use that's kind of outside of the box, that maybe is a piece of decor that you could use in your kitchen that isn't made for the kitchen. All right, so let's get on the road and head to Target. So I began my Target shopping trip here in the hearth and hand section. I was drawn to this salt and pepper shakers because I love the stonework on it with the wood. And at $14.99, I felt like that was a fair price for just how heavy and nice they felt. I feel like they were very beautiful and I'm definitely keeping my eye on them. They did have a matching utensil set at $24.99 and I'm going to tell you this thing was heavy. But this could look great if you had your utensils setting inside of it. I had to give everyone a little preview in the store of what this could actually look like. This coffee cup rack was so pretty with the brass and the wood and it was a fairly good price also at $19.99. One thing about the hearth and hand section is that you can get coordinating pieces that are all going together. Just like this beautiful recipe book holder, I just love this. I felt like the brass really stood out and I love the way the stand was on the back because you want it to feel nice and solid. Another thing I was noticing was kind of unique shaped glassware and like vases. It was something that I'm on the fence on whether or not I'm enjoying. I'll show you another piece here in a moment. Now they did have a lot of nice plates and cake stands and different things that can help add dimension to your home. This tear tray was truly unique because you could swivel it in and out and I felt like it was just really neat whether you wanted to use it for decor or if you wanted to use it functional, you know, if you're having guests over and you want to set desserts or appetizers on it. Now, I will say, I've been wanting a bread basket. The one that I have in my home right now is super old, and I love this one, and for the price, this thing is really thick and heavy and nice. It does not feel flimsy, and so I'm, I'm definitely getting this. I'm already gonna tell you now. And I have plans to use it as decor on days that I'm not using it as a bread holder. Now let's move over into this figment section because wow, they have some very nice pieces that were inexpensive. I mean, $5 for this set and then $20 for the whole entire ceramic bowl set with all different colors, greens, blues, white. I was super impressed and I feel like this is a section that I hardly ever go into. So keep your eyes open because sometimes there's good stuff other than just over in, you know, the McGee and company and the threshold. Now here's the other bowl that I was talking about. This looks kind of retro to me. I'm on the fence on whether or not I like it or the section. And I think it's just because this section isn't my style, but it could look amazing. It almost has to me like an Aztec feel to it. Now I will say that a marble bookends are always a winner and can go very nicely in an array of design styles. Now I really enjoy this face. This color obviously drew my eye because these are the types of colors that I use in my home. And when I picked it up, it's just very nice, heavy quality. Target definitely had a lot of faux potted plants, all different styles with very affordable prices. I really feel like you can set these around and add lots of charm and character to your home. Now that we're back from our shopping trip at Target, I have an appointment coming up that I need to pause before I decorate and take care of. And it's something that's very near and dear to me. A big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. So there's something that a lot of you might not realize about me, and that is that I am my husband's caregiver. 
he has early onset dementia. Getting out of the home often <laughs> is not something that I really get to do. So I knew that through this process of taking care of someone who had an illness, I was going to need to be able to take care of myself. And that is where BetterHelp comes in. Having a therapist that I can talk to from the comfort of my own home has been so beneficial. First of all, it eliminates me from having to leave my home and I just get to do it from the comfort right here. I don't know about you guys, but I think walking into a therapist's office can be intimidating. And then what if you don't like that therapist? Then you have to, you know, I call it break up with your therapist. But with BetterHelp, if you aren't liking the therapist that you are matched with, it is so easy to switch with a click of a button. And one of the cool things, I do mine on my laptop. They have it available to where you can do your therapy through video chat, phone calls, or messaging. So you get to pick whichever one works best for you. Something that my therapist has done for me personally is helps me not to feel like a burden to my family. And what I mean by that, they don't need to know all your troubles and your woes and your worries. And it just starts to feel like I'm complaining. But my therapist has made it so lovely to be able to you know, convey what is going on in my life and then give me ways to cope. That is what I think I was looking for the most was figuring out ways to cope with everything that I was going through. It's super simple to do. First up, you just go to betterhelp.com slash a charming abode. They're going to ask you a few questions and then they're going to match you with a therapist. And usually within 48 hours, it's very fast and you can get started. I think something that's so wonderful is they have therapists who have years of experience that can help you with the struggles that you're dealing with. So let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you from the comfort of your own home. Use the link down in the description box or head to betterhelp.com slash a charming abode and enjoy a special discount on your first month. And a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. All right, so the first item that I brought home today was this beautiful vase. I was just absolutely loving just the texture, the detail, and the rope design. But more than that, I love the color. It's got this nice blue-gray color, which I feel like is gonna look really great in my kitchen. So I did not get this to use as a vase. I got this to be a utensil holder. I felt like this would just give my kitchen a little bit of character and just add a little something extra to it to just give it a little pop. Let me show you the whole idea of my design and I'll walk you through it because I got a couple other pieces to go with this and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So over here next to my stove is where my salt and pepper and my utensils sit just for convenience. I've had this sitting here for several years now and this is the area that I wanna spruce up a little bit. I felt like this would be so pretty in here and if we took out the utensils and we put them into this space, I actually have a couple more, I need to grab them out. Well, I don't know why they're not in here. But I love the colors of that and I just felt like that would just look so nice and unique in here in the kitchen. But let me show you the other idea that I have to kind of incorporate all this in together to just make a really nice, almost like vignette sitting here next to my stove. I thought this tiered tray by Hearth and Hand was so lovely. I love the colors in it. I love the brass detail. And what I loved about it is how it's connected together that you can switch it to be whichever side that you want it to be. And I just thought that was a really cool detail. So that made me think about how I could set this over here and maybe almost make this look more like a decor piece, but actually be functional. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do on the small one. So my plan is to use this big side for the utensils on the other side of my cabinet here to where this sets up here like this and almost looks like a showcase piece. And then this one down here is going to house my salt and pepper and the cutest little greenery that we picked up today. All right, so I picked up this gorgeous set here from Hearth and Hand. I love the stone on it. And then of course the wood, which matches my kitchen very nicely. And I felt like that would be just adorable sitting here within reach of cooking. And then I love this little faux potted plant. It just was so nice, it was so inexpensive. It was $6.99 and I always think greenery looks so nice. So I'm just gonna add that, add that in behind, kind of set that like that. Oh, that looks adorable. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, I'm loving this look. Let me back out for you guys because I have other stuff that's sitting over here that I'm going to rearrange. Those flowers were left from last week's video and I just was giving them sunlight but I need to do a little rearranging, otherwise this is gonna seem a little too crowded and I cannot have a bunch of crowdedness. Okay, did a little rearranging, stuck my tiered tray back in the corner, moved my hand soap with my little aloe vera plant over here, and then that way that gave that more room and it looks lovely, and then it's also right next to my stove. I have my little 
a spoon rest holder there. Probably doesn't look the best, but we'll see if we can come up with a different idea in the future. But right now, for functionality, I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, I'm at it again, and I've switched sides because I felt like oh, this was just maybe like too high. And when I was standing back in the kitchen, it was standing out and it was just like too much. And then when I did it like this, this kind of helped block the plug-in view and just, I don't know, I felt like it just gave it a little bit of a better ambiance. You guys let me know in the comments down below, do you like it better with this the blue on the shorter one, or did you like the vase up on the taller one switched? Let me know which one you like the best. Don't forget if you're enjoying today's video to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out. All right, I got this little beauty. I love setting out cookbooks. So one of the things I like to do is I like to go through cookbooks and find pages that look pretty or have something on them that stands out. Like I love the black of this skillet, but I also love this one with having a little bit of greenery in it. So a lot of times, I know this sounds so silly, so I'll set the cookbook and try and decide like, first of all, I love this detail and I feel like it holds the cookbook very nice. So then I see what the page looks like and then I also, I'll try the other page that I was thinking about and see which one looks better. But let me finish the rest of the, you know, the countertop over here and then we can decide. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the one that has the black skillet with the chicken or do you like the other one that has a little bit of greenery? It looks like the parsley on top. I need to have my own recipe ebook printed off and I could put my own recipes over here. <laughs> Next, I got the bread basket. I've been wanting one of these not only to use for bread when I have company over, but in the meantime, I can use it as decor sitting here on my countertop. I always feel like this looks so good. Let's put a few things in it and just make it look decorative. You know Hearth and Hand has all the beautiful little wood cutting boards. This one was only $9.99 and I love it, it goes with the rest of the wood. And so I'm just gonna place that back in here like this. And then I've had this wreath forever, but I think this will look cute. Oh, let's go this way. We'll set this in here, in front of the cutting board. And we'll put a napkin coming off the side over here. And it wouldn't be a charming abode if we didn't have some beads. So simple, but so cute. Cutting board, bread basket, and a napkin with some beads. nice to just give my kitchen just like a little mini makeover. I have had the same thing sitting on my countertops for forever, so that was just really a lot of fun. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check out the link down in the description box, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!